What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I created this Halloween inspired light painting right here. So obviously I used this mask for that light painting and this amazingly scary mask was sent to me by Annie over in the UK. Annie is a fellow light painter, but she also makes these really scary, especially in the dark when you're by yourself, masks. I'll put her Instagram right down here so you can check her out as well as in the description below. But definitely go over, give her some love on her light paintings and these really awesome masks. The tools that I used for this video were the circle plexiglass with the purple screw on color filter, the blue light pen, the orange and purple color hoods. I used a black fiber optic with two custom screw on color filters. The first one I put some orange and red gels in and then the second screw on color filter I just put some purple and blue gels in there to add some color to the ends of the black fiber optic. The other light that I used to create those lines, those red lines coming out from the image is this little light right here. This is the Q6 from Spiffy Gear. They come in two different versions. There's the bicolor version, which is a bunch of different degrees of Kelvin on, on the white scale. And then they have the RGB version, which does a bunch of different colors and patterns. I use the RGB version for it just simply on the red to kind of come out at the camera and the little dots here work out perfect. This light has a few different levels of brightness as well as you can change the color to just about anything and it even has like a red and blue strobe and a fire effect which is actually pretty cool. Not only is it this straight line LED light like this that you can use in your light painting, photography or video work, but it also turns into a bracelet like that. So you can wear it as a bracelet if you wanted to. Not that I'm wearing it as a bracelet, but because it wraps around stuff like this, you can use it on your tripod as a way to see where the heck your tripod is at night, especially if you're shooting out in the field, if you're far off in the distance or something, outside in the woods, and you wanna keep track of where the heck your tripod is, you can just literally slap this thing around it. So all kinds of cool little features with this light. If you wanna see an in-depth review of this light, let me know in the comments section down below and I can try to create some more images with it and show you more of the features of the Q6 from Spiffy Gear. The camera that I used was the Canon 6D Mark II with the Sigma 24 to 105 lens. The camera settings were ISO 100 F8 shooting on bulb mode. Before I turn the lights off and actually create this image, I wanna show you guys really quick with the lights on exactly how I'm holding the tools in relation to the camera as well as the mannequin. The very first thing that I'm doing is taking the circle plexiglass and placing it directly up against the lens. I'm doing this before I even start the exposure. Once I have the circle plexiglass placed right up against the lens, I'm then gonna start the exposure, turn the light on to illuminate the plexiglass and drag it away from the camera directly over to the mannequin. The next thing that I'm gonna do is use the blue light pen to illuminate the eye sockets. I'm pointing the light away from the camera into the eye sockets on this one. The one thing that I need to watch out for is that I'm not in the way of the camera being able to see the light that's being projected into the eye sockets. Here I'm using the color hoods to illuminate the mask. I'm going to be illuminating the mask with both the purple and orange color hoods, but I'm always going to be illuminating from down below, shining the light up. The reason that I'm lighting from down below is I like the way the shadows are cast when I illuminate in this way, and I think it adds to the overall creepiness of this mask. Here I had the black fiber optic with the screw on color filter that has the orange and red gels in it. I'm going to fan the fiber optic out a little bit in my hand and then just slowly drag it down both sides of the mannequin's face. Now going back behind the mannequin using the same fiber optic, I'm going to be pointing the light directly at the camera now and just shaking the fiber optic in this random way. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. I'm just going and making sure I'm filling the entire frame with this orangey kind of fire effect coming from the fiber optic. Switching now to the other fiber optic that has the purple and blue gels attached to it, I'm gonna be doing pretty much the same thing that I just did with the orange and red gels, 
except I'm gonna be staying a little bit tighter to the body of the mannequin and just adding a little separation here. Finally here using the Q6 light, starting from back behind the mannequin, turning the light on and then bringing it out in this waving pattern towards the camera. I'm gonna do this four different times just to try to find some symmetry in this image. All right, now that I've showed you how I actually hold the lights relative to the camera and the mannequin, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and we'll create this image. Starting the exposure now, settings are ISO 100 F8 shooting on bulb mode. First thing that I'm doing again, the circle plexi and just starting it right at the lens and bringing it directly over to the mannequin. Now I'm coming in with the blue light pen and just illuminating those eye sockets, making sure that I'm not blocking the camera from being able to record the light. So I'm staying off on the side at an angle to illuminate the eye sockets. Next up here, I'm just coming in with the purple color hood and illuminating again from the bottom, shining the light up because I just like the way that the shadows kind of cast over when you're lighting from the bottom, especially with the spooky, scary mask. And as you'll see there, uh, I'm just focused on really the center of the face with the purple. Now I'm coming in with the orange and really focusing more on the sides rather than the center of the face, but doing both sides and just giving overall light to the mask. Now I'm using just a little purple light from either side here just to illuminate the clothing that the mannequin has on. Now I'm using the black fiber optic with the orange and red gels in it. And I'm just taking that, kind of fanning it out in my hand and dragging it down the sides of the mask where the hair would be. I'm gonna do that on both sides here and just drag it nice and slow. And then one time finally, I'm just gonna drag a little bit down the center of the face. Now taking that same fiber optic, going around the back side of the mannequin and just doing this Random pattern, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. I'm just kind of going all the way around to make sure I've filled the entire frame here and just going back and forth, back and forth, kind of wiggling and waving the fiber optic around. It's gonna give this really cool like fiery effect. Now switching to the other fiber optic with the blue and purple. I'm gonna stay a little bit closer to the back of the mannequin with this one, not gonna go all the way to the outside of the frame and just hopefully it'll kind of separate the mannequin a little bit from that fiery background. But doing the same motion, just kind of back and forth, making sure I go all the way around the mannequin. Finally here coming in with the little Q6 light just on red, starting from behind the mannequin and then just bringing it out and around towards the camera. Again, doing this four different times, just trying to find a little symmetry in the image. And that'll do it. We'll stop the exposure and see what we got. And there you go. I think it looks pretty cool. I love the different textures in this image between the fiber optic and the Q6 light and those lines coming out. You got kind of that soft, smoky, fiery effect with those kind of sharp lines. I think that works really well, especially the way they're kind of coming to camera. I like that. And then uh, obviously the glowing eyes and all that stuff and just the overall creepiness of that mask. Annie, you really killed it on this mask. I love this thing and uh, it makes for good images. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. I wanna say again, thank you very much to Annie for sending me this awesome mask. I absolutely love this thing. It is super freaky and scary, again, when you're light painting this thing. I had this in my studio, and I just set it up, and like, you know, I'd walk out with the lights off or whatever and see it kind of sitting there in the corner, If I, especially if I was working on something else, and it would just catch my eye. And, 
You wanna talk about freaking you out, dude, because I left it on my mannequin. It freaked me out so many different times. So finally had to take it off the mannequin and kind of put it away so I'd stop freaking myself out thinking there's some psycho in the corner trying to kill me. But anyway, thank you very much, Annie. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please do. Give me the thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. I will answer anything that I can. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And until the next video, get out there and get creative.